Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Brittany. I'm a health coach and nutritionist, and my channel is all about helping you to create delicious low FODMAP meals to improve your digestive health. If you're into it, go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video each week. Okay, so today we are making homemade popcorn, which it's so easy, I don't know why anyone buys the stuff in the bag, honestly. Like straight from the kernels is healthier, it's cheaper, it's tastier, and it's so easy. If I can teach my dad to do it, you guys can do it. Popcorn is the perfect low FODMAP snack if you make it yourself because you can have seven cups of popcorn. I would never recommend eating all seven of those cups, but it's really hard to find something on the low FODMAP diet that you can just have like tons of. This is it right here. Another great thing about making popcorn yourself is that you can put whatever spices on it you like. My favorite is curry. I just put a little curry powder on there when I'm putting the butter and the salt. Jeff's favorite is um, Cajun. So I challenge you to get a little bit creative and come up with your own flavor combination. Okay, so today we are using just regular popcorn kernels. I've got these at Sprouts in the bulk section. It was like a dollar something for twice this. It was like, this is like what, half the bag? No, three times this amount, so I don't know. It was really cheap. We're also gonna be using Kerrygold butter. I think it's good to use the nice butter for this because that's like really all you're tasting. And we've got some salt and some olive oil. Super simple. All right, let's go over to the stove and cook it up. Okay, we're gonna start with our big pot here and we're going to turn our flame on to a medium high. Okay, now we're just gonna cover the bottom of our pan with oil. I'm just using olive oil here today, but I've used avocado oil in the past. I feel like you could use coconut if you wanted to do like a curry popcorn, like that would be good. So now I'm just going to throw in a few kernels and put the lid on and wait for them to pop. That's when I will know that the oil is, is ready. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I'm just gonna cover the bottom of our pan with popcorn kernels. I don't really measure, I just, I'll oh, just do them all. That was about half a cup, I think. Now we're just gonna put the lid back on and wait for it to pop. Like, this is seriously so easy. Oh, I'm so sorry you guys can't see it, but this steam is like actually what's popping your popcorn. Okay, so I am gonna pick this up and give it a little shake every once in a while, just to kind of, you know, redistribute the heat the spot of heat on the kernel and to like, get the kernels down at the bottom and the popcorn more up at the top. This is definitely a dish that you are going to be using your ears more than your eyes to cook. You'll know it's ready when the rate of popping starts to slow down. So while this is popping, I'm just going to melt a half a stick of salted butter in the microwave. So you see how the rate of the popping is starting to slow down? It's almost done. Okay, it's just about done. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm actually gonna let this steam for just a minute. Now I'm gonna take off our lid and I'm going to pour half of this butter. I also sprinkled on about a half a teaspoon of salt. Shake that around a bit after I put the butter on. Okay. Now we're just gonna transfer this to a bowl. And we're gonna put the butter on the, the rest of the butter on the other side. And then top with a little bit more salt. About another half a teaspoon. Okay, now I like to take a spoon and just kind of toss it together. If you wanted to add other flavors to your popcorn, you could totally do that. Just add it when you're adding the salt. Our favorites that I've made are curry seasoning that we put on there um, and Cajun seasoning. You could also just do black pepper. So I typically add a half a stick of butter and a teaspoon of salt, but of course, salt and butter to taste. Okay, now we have our popcorn here. We're just gonna put it in a nicer bowl. Have it get absolutely everywhere. Mmm, so good. All right, guys, 
Is this not the easiest recipe you've ever seen? I swear, you need to try it. Especially for Halloween coming up. It's the perfect complement to your horror movie marathon. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this recipe, found it useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And if you make your own flavor combination, tag me. I really wanna see what you guys come up with. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.